In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create this really easy step-by-step -step smoky eye. And I know I have so many tutorials on smoky eyes, but I am using a new palette that I absolutely love. I feel like I found the most perfect brown ever. I'm also gonna go through this step-by-step -step to make it really easy for everybody to apply. So I really hope that you will enjoy this one. Now, if you're new here to the Makeup Chair channel and you enjoy tutorials like this, then I might suggest hitting the subscribe button below. It's totally free. And if you're already subscribed, then thank you and welcome back. Now let's get started in creating this look. So this is the palette that I'm using. It's the Urban Decay Naked Wild West Mini Palette. I love the fake snake skin on the cover. And I also love that you can flip the mirror the whole way around. It's very lightweight and really easy to hold and use. But before we apply anything, we have to prime our eyelids. So as always, I'm gonna take an eyeshadow primer and apply this all over the lid. This is gonna give our eyeshadow something to hold on to so that it lasts longer. And because this is slightly tinted, it's also gonna create a blank canvas for us to work on. This is gonna give us a lot more shadow payoff and make the application so much easier. So I've just applied this all over the lid, right up to the brows. Now the first shadow that I'm taking is the lightest shade. I'm actually going to be using this to set the primer, which is a great step for beginners. However, if you're not a beginner, you might not necessarily have to do this. What this does is it creates a very soft, smooth base for us to apply our darker shadows over. So it's just gonna help with the blending process. Now, if you don't want to do a wash all over the lid, you can just focus this right underneath the brows to create a brightened effect. If you have time, I would actually recommend doing one eye with a soft wash of something lighter or matching your skin tone. And then with the other eye, just go straight in on top of the primer and see which one works for you. If you find you over blend everything, then you don't need to do a wash. It will actually help to keep that sharpness. But if your blending technique isn't great, then I would recommend doing a wash over the top of your primer. Now sticking with that same brush, I'm gonna take the next shade, which is a peachy tone. This is going to be applied below the brow bone area. So it's sort of going one step down, keeping this right in the crease of the eye and then it kind of blurs up and down. So avoid the brow bone area, don't go up too high, and bring this right in the middle across the crease, and then slightly higher and slightly lower. Now I always start off with a very soft blending over and back motion, just to apply a little bit of the shadow. And then I can be more precise as I go along. However, if you find that your shadows look too blended and maybe a little bit muddy, you can try doing short little strokes, working your way across the crease. What this does is it kind of disperses the shadow and pushes it along rather than overly blending it. So if you feel like you overblend, try doing this technique instead. Next, I'm switching to a more tapered blending brush and I'm gonna take the shade Whiskey, which I absolutely love. This is one of my favorite shades. It doesn't have too much orange or red or yellow. It's just the most beautiful chocolate brown. Absolutely love it. I do think it comes in a liner as well, so I'm interested to see if I can get my hands on that. And we're focusing this all over the lid. So into the crease, very slightly, and then bringing it downwards to cover the lid. Our peach shade is always gonna be a little bit higher, so bear that in mind. I'm applying a very small amount, starting on the outer corner, working it into the crease, doing little swirling motions to apply this. And then a little extra tip that I like to do, I like to layer my shadows together. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that medium shade and apply this over the top of the dark chocolate shade. What this is gonna do is it's gonna bring the whole thing together. It is gonna look very overly blended, but that's okay, because then we can go back in with a darker shadow and create more definition, but we're still gonna be left with this really soft, blurry crease. Now a little goes a long way, and this will really help with your blending technique. 
So if you feel like you never get that soft blend, try doing this technique, blurring the two of them together. I can then go back in with a little bit more of that whiskey shade and apply this all over the lid, this time being a little heavier, but still ending up with that beautiful soft fade from the crease upwards. I actually have a really funny story about whiskey, so if you'd like me to share that, let me know. As you can see, we've completely covered the lid, but I do have a slight little gap right on that inner corner. I want to keep that a little bit brighter. Now we're gonna take that whiskey's best friend, it's sparkly metallic friend, and we're going to apply this at the lash line. So what I like to do is I like to keep my brush kind of horizontal, working across the lid to apply this. Once you have enough on there, you wanna slightly bring your brush in front of you and tilt it upwards, so it's going to softly blend this upwards kind of covering the lid then. And you wanna keep doing this until you get a pretty good saturation on the lid. But before I finish off, I always like to go back in with my blending brush again, just to make sure there's no harsh lines, just to make sure that we have that beautiful soft blend. And also bring a little bit of that metallic kind of around the eye before finally going back in with a bit more of that metallic shade to finish. I love the combination of these two shades. I feel like I found the perfect combination for my eye, finally. It's that rich, bronzy, metallic, chocolatey color, and I just love it so much. I know all browns can look the same to some people, but for me, this is the brown I have been waiting for. And there you go. I finished off with some lashes and mascara, and that is just a very easy everyday smoky eye, particularly coming up to fall, which I'm so excited about. September is my favorite month, and I feel like this is very September-y. Now, if you do have any more questions, as always, I'm here to help, so just leave a comment below, or you can head over to my Instagram and you can DM me any issues that you might have with your makeup, and I will try and help as best as I can. As always, my friends, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. You are doing the best you can, and that's awesome, and I'll see you in the next one.